Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. We're talking about praying in the spirit. We start off talking about dressing for success, putting on the whole arm of God. And what we have right now, we've got the helmet of salvation on and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And we're learning how to pray in the spirit because we want to strengthen our minds praying in the spirit. Exactly what does that mean? Jesus tells his disciples what not to, how not to pray when praying uh, to God. And uh, he tells them, don't pray like the hypocrites who love to pray and be seen by others. Jesus says they have received their reward in full. And that's in Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. So what we're going to be talking about is the Lord's Prayer. And I'm not talking about repeating it word for word. We're talking about using the Lord's Prayer as a guide to structure how we pray to God in the Spirit. And that's what we're to do, my friends. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Jesus tells his disciples how not to pray. Not to pray uh, in, the, in front of people with uh, flowery words, but to do it in secret, in your closet. And, Jesus, and so the disciples, they always saw Jesus praying everywhere he went. Jesus uh, says, I go where my father leads me. He constantly was praying to God. And so the disciples says, teach us to pray. And so Jesus tells them, he says, uh, he's going to teach them to pray. And he gives them this model. And like I said, we're not going to do it word for word. I don't think this is what he intends for us to do, but it's to take this prayer and use it as a guide. And so we're going to look at it by line by line, and we're going to see how uh, this model that Jesus gave us is going to help us to learn how to pray in the Spirit. So when we pray, we're not. it's not that we're just always praying to get something from God. And sometimes that's what we do. We, we get on our knees and we start to rattle off uh, the things that we want, the things that we need. And, uh, but we're talking about we want to get with God. We long to be with him. We want to know him more. We're, we have this chance to communicate to him. And we want to listen to him according to the scriptures. So, so our prayer life should reflect not just this longing for him because we want, we're longing for him when we're praying to him, but it should also be our prayers should be about being obedient to him, wanting to please him. It's all about his will. We long to be with him, we want to be obedient to him, and we want to please him. And it's about his will being done. So our prayer should always begin with acknowledging him. His presence, a humble reverence for who He is, our God, our Father. Now that may sound really simple, but you know, in this day and time, respect seems to be a lost art. Reverence for who God is. God is holy, and sometimes we treat Him like He's our buddy. He's a rabbit's foot. He's a Santa Claus that's there to uh, answer all our prayer requests, all our needs. Give us the things we want, these earthly things that we're chasing after. So often we start our prayers by giving God all the information, right, about the problems that we're having, the things that he needs to fix. We're telling him how to fix it and when to fix it. And uh, But what we want to do, we, we want to acknowledge and reverence how holy and good God is. He is a wonderful God. And he is our father as we pray to him. And we want to reverence his name. And like I said, that seems to be a lost art in this day and time. Respect, reverence. He's holy. He's good. He's merciful. And his mercies extend forever. Oh, my friends. But when we pray in the spirit, it is about the will of the father. What, what, uh, it's us knowing uh, that through the scriptures, knowing the will of the Father through the scriptures, and 
living our lives, uh, up, uh, lining our lives according to his plan. So it's knowing what his will is. So how will we know what his will is? Well, he's going to reveal it in his word. And, you know, at the end of the prayer it says, thy will be done. So we want to be obedient to what he says. We want to know what he says in his word. And then we want to line our lives up with his plan. And now uh, that's how we are to pray in the spirit. It's his will to be done on this earth through us. So Jesus gives his disciples this guide, a way. Uh, he's showing them how to pray. Our Father. He is holy. He's set apart. All my friends, we serve a wonderful God who is set apart from the things of this world that are temporal, the things that are broken, the things that are full of lies and hate. God is set apart from that. And we acknowledge him when we first come to him. We reverence his name, how holy he is. I am so glad that we can call the, on the one who knows and understands. I am so glad that we can do that. I am so glad that we can call him our Father. We're just getting started on the Lord's Prayer and praying in the Spirit. And praying in the Spirit means that we're praying according to his will. We're lining our lives up with his plan. And we need to know what that is according to the Scriptures. God's not ignoring your pain. He knows our pain. He knows our troubles. The Bible says he is close to the brokenhearted. God already knows he's God. And he wants us to come into this relationship with him. And as we come into this relationship with him, he's going to help us to understand why we're going through the, the things that we're going through. And we're not alone. And the plan is to reach a lost and dying world to spread the gospel to everyone who doesn't know it, to tell others about the hope that we have inside of us. And my friends, God has not left us alone when it comes to advancing the gospel. He's going to work through us. And what we need to do is trust him. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101. We're going to talk more about God's prayer. But we're just getting started. when We are able to call him our Father. Not everyone can do that. But we have a privilege, and that is a wonderful thing. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101. Thank you, my friends.